Do you ever feel like your kids don't eat enough vegetables? Or do you just need more baby food recipe ideas? Well today I have six and Erisi here will be my food taste tester. As you can tell, she clearly likes to play with things. Anyways, if you guys are excited for Erisi's birth month and excited to see more baby stuff, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more friendly, easy recipes for busy bees. We'll go ahead and get started with our baby food. So first, I wanted to share these reusable baby pouches that I got on Amazon. They come in various sizes, but this one I got is a large and I think it's six ounces. Um, but they're super cute and they're way more budget friendly than if you were to buy them each at the store. I was at Target the other day and it was a little bit questionable that baby food was just out. I mean, how do they keep them fresh? and? Like I know they go bad and they have molds and stuff in them, so I feel so much better making my own for Erisi. Um, If you guys are interested in finding out more about these baby packs, be sure to check the link in the description box. All right, but we'll go ahead and get started with our first recipe, which I call Beets by Mom. I have one cup of beets that I've cut up into smaller pieces. Pro tip, they'll steam faster. Add them to my steamer. And then I have one cup of frozen strawberries and then I'll steam them for about five minutes until the beets are nice and tender. All right, let's mix everything up. Here, I'll add a quarter cup of raspberries into my blender. Raspberries help baby's body to absorb iron from food. And then I have one tablespoon of chia seeds that I've already soaked. Chia seeds are an amazing source of protein, fiber, healthy fats, and antioxidants. Then we have our steamed strawberries, which are a great source of vitamin C and calcium. And then our beets. They have plenty of vitamins and minerals, also good for brain development. And then to thin it out, I have a quarter cup of water. Now let's blend it up. Now, depending on your baby's age or preference, you can blend these out to be nice and chunky or really smooth. All right, let's choose from our smoothie packs. I think I'll go with Panda. I'll just open the pouch, nice and roomy. And don't worry, I've tested it. They won't explode on you. The seal is really good. Now, I'll fill the pouch three quarters of the way full and seal it up. So cute. If you guys don't wanna use these pouches, go ahead and fill a four ounce mason jar up cap it and you can keep it in the fridge up to three days. Alternatively, if you have a lot of extra puree, you can go ahead and freeze them in these ice cube molds for up to three months. This ice cube mold is a lifesaver, I'm telling you. <laughs> All done or more? Ersi, <laughs> Ersi, more or all done? More or all? Okay. More or all done? I think she likes it, folks. Beats by Mom is a winner. Next up, we have Hello Sunshine. I'll start with one cup of chopped up mangoes. Mangoes are said to help boost immunity and reduce baby's risk of a common cold. Then I have about one cup of peaches which is also great to help the baby with constipation. And then a quarter cup of cooked oatmeal, which has lots of fiber to keep her full. One teaspoon of coconut oil, which provides healthy fats. And finally, a quarter cup of water to thin everything out. Now I'll just blend and pack it up. And any leftover, I'll just go ahead and freeze. Just so you know, most of the ingredients were steamed before taping the video. Um, I used a combination of frozen and fresh. For example, the peaches were frozen because peaches aren't in season right now, but I definitely wanted to introduce peaches to her. So I just par steamed them for about three to five minutes until they're just barely soft. And as always, be sure to check with your pediatrician before introducing any new foods to your babies. I think she may even like this pack more than Beats by Mom. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I actually tested this one and it's pretty darn good. I would eat this. Okay, moving on to our next one. We have our sweet grains. 
Here I have half a cup of peas, which are high in lutein for eye development and are a great source of fiber. Then I have one cup of pear that I've par steamed. It's also another great fruit to alleviate constipation. A cup of kale, another superfood that's a great source of vitamins and minerals and loads of calcium for strong teeth and bones. And of course some water to thin it out. Blend, blend, blend. Folks, I've been blessed with a non-picky eater. She actually loves peas and kale. <laughs> but I actually think the pears really help too. <laughs> All right, while well, she finishes this pouch, because I feel really good about her eating her greens, we're gonna move on to our next one, which is the nutty bean. For this one, I have one cup of butternut squash that I've already steamed. This will help increase baby's weight half a cup of steamed green beans. This will help boost baby's immune system. And then a quarter cup of cooked brown rice. Brown rice is versatile and babies are rarely allergic to it. And then about half a cup of water. Ooh, look at that texture, nice and thick. I think she wants the sweet green back. <laughs> this is funny because I started Erisi off with butternut and green beans and she loved that combination. It's a really easy one to start your babies off with. All right, next up we have the sweet apple of my eye. I'll add one cup of chopped already steamed apples to my blender. Apples help prevent diarrhea and then one cup of steamed sweet potatoes. These are high in calories, so they help babies to gain weight. A quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, just to introduce baby to a new spice and flavor. A quarter cup of quinoa, which is a complete and balanced pack of protein, and enough water to thin it out. Here's another tip. The more starchy your food, like rice, beans, sweet potatoes, the more water you're gonna need to add to thin it out for easy blending. love this orange color. Yeah? So for me, I really like the addition of the cinnamon just to kind of open up her palate to new flavors. And the quinoa is another really interesting ingredient that has a lot of protein and it's healthy for her. And finally, if any of you guys watch Little Baby Bum, this one here was inspired by that one. It's called Eat Your Veggies. Eat your vegetables, they're yum, yum, crunchy, yum. <laughs> Grab a plate, add some peas. We'll start with a quarter cup of white beans, which are high in fiber and it helps them stay regular. Then we have one carrot, which is high in lutein and great for eye health and one cup of broccoli that's super rich in iron. By the way, all the vegetables here are steamed. And finally, about half a cup of water. So I hope you guys enjoyed this baby food video. Another tip that I have for you guys, don't make the mistake that I did and give her the vegetables, the carrots, white beans, and broccoli last. Always make sure to give it to them first so that they finish their veggies before moving on to the sweets. I found that once I gave Erisi the sweet ones um, on a typical day uh, for lunch or something, she will just stick to the sweet sugary ones and will totally disregard her veggies. Just like she did today. If you guys have some fun baby food combinations, go ahead and let me know what they are by commenting below and let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos with Erisi and baby food if they help you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next Honeysuckle video. 
And before I leave, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support. We're at half a million, 500,000 busy bees. That's incredible. Let's get us to a million busy bees strong. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your support and it's been so much fun sharing all of my recipes and life with you. I hope to continue that and just wanted to give you a really quick sneak peek. We are developing a new series coming out very soon to include everything you love about my channel. Food, fashion, uh, lifestyle, beauty, natural beauty. I have a lot of those uh, videos in the playlist below and you guys can find more of those coming soon.